it is my Stafford vlog today with Bear. I've already started plaiting her up, um, but you'll see the footage after that. Uh, sadly, I've had to start this vlog um, giving my condolences and wishes out to the family and everyone involved of the horrible accident yesterday at Solihull. Um, obviously, we were there, but we had left before anything happened. But it is, it's really, really sad and it does sort of make you think and take a step back from it all. Like, obviously, I was annoyed about my show jumping and it, I don't know, it's just, just makes you realise that to get back safely, regardless of what the score is, what, whatever happened, is all that really matters. So, that's definitely my attitude for today. Um, yeah, I didn't want to not say anything because I, I think it needs to be said, but obviously I don't want it to, you know... I, like, I wanted just to say it and then, uh, yeah, just acknowledge it really because it's really, really sad and it is rare for our sport but unfortunately does happen and it's something that's, yeah, it's just absolutely horrible. Um, but I wanted to say something and now we'll get on with the vlog. I'll finish plaiting and go and just aim to have a fun day at Stafford and stay safe and yeah enjoy it enjoy time with the ponies and not put too much pressure on me or bear so that is the plan for today so yeah i'll carry on plaiting and then uh head off i've got to go straight to stafford train station later but i'll explain why in the lorry i need to get plaiting because i'm late Having a wee itch, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Bear my arm aches. Porter. <laughs> no, I don't want those shoes, Dad. God. Do you not want those? No, they're blue. They don't go with anything. You should know that, Dad. Come on. You're into your fashion. Packing all my stuff because I'm going straight to Stafford train station to go to Liverpool to go to my graduation tomorrow. Look how packed the lorry is for taking the little one because obviously Mum does not want to take the big one through Stafford train station. Have you got Yes. Let's have a look. Have we got there? No, I haven't. I'm just glowing. Love the disappointment in your voice then. You've got makeup on. <laughs> haven't got makeup on, guys. I, I did put hair. some gradual tanner on a couple oh, of days ago. Mm. Do that Looking glowing. Right, say bye, Dad. Bye. <laughs> Bliggy vloggy time with Bear Pony. Oh, she looks pretty. Oh, Bear, what have you done to that plaid? Look at that dust. You Bad pony. That's what you were doing, rubbing it on the oh wall. You've seen it. Yeah. It looks like a ball ball. <laughs> the glitter on it. You're so naughty. Come on. I'm very cross with you. <laughs> oh, that's not a good start. I think that is my plat. That's the first thing the judge is going to see. That glittery ball ball. Come on then. Oh, 
clever pony. We'll be very pleased to see that the mythical creature of Hobbit is back. I'm back. We finally decided to come eventing again. Yeah. So obviously, yeah, you were too hungover yesterday to come eventing. So it's not at all hungover, but I did have guests. Harry very kindly came with me, but that's in a different vlog. So yeah. another day, another event off to Stafford Horse Trials today. Yeah. Got Bear in the back. It's actually her first run since Badminton, which is crazy. Turn left in. Um, so obviously Bearwood got abandoned and then she couldn't go to off church because of her eye. So yeah, first run since the very start of May. And it's now 14th of July. Not great. Mum now this turning. It's not very good turning, I can't see. Oh, now I've missed my gap. Okay, let's go. Whee! I made that. Um, so, yeah. Just going for a nice, happy run today, aren't we? Bear's never been to so. Stafford. Good. But we do need to say a very big thank you to Sue, the lady that organises Stafford. I had a bit of a nightmare Monday morning because I decided Aoife needs to go out eventing after our elimination at Sapi. Because Bear was meant to go to Stafford yesterday because obviously I'm graduating tomorrow and I need to be in Liverpool for that. So I was thinking I'll have Sunday off, I'll mosey up to Liverpool, I'll just have yeah, a, a nice you know time, yeah, just be a girl for like 24 hours, but no, Aoife no. had other plans. Silly. Yes. So we decided to go to the Sully Hole yesterday, but then meant I had to try and ask for my entry to Stafford to be changed to today, and then I had to ask her to have me as early as possible because obviously I've got to get a train to Liverpool and I've got a meeting people for dinner tonight. So bless her, she's put me as first in in the section. Um, so I've got my train booked at just after four o'clock. So Mum's gonna whiz me into Stafford City Centre, and then I've got to drive home on my own. Yeah, I don't know how you can manage that. I want to do the drive back with me. <laughs> yeah, I'll put a post on Instagram. Yeah. But yeah, so just massive, massive thank you for Stafford for being so accommodating and changing our entries and putting me first and everything because it's, it's made a big difference. Literally, couldn't have done it without that. So very helpful. Yeah, I think that's all we have to say now, isn't it, Hobbiton? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be there in 15 minutes. Yes. Yeah, it's a really nice event there, so I'm really excited. Really We've only been the 150 last year, and we moved to the 100. Bear's just doing the 90 today, because obviously it's been so long since we've since we invented. So, want confidence giving, yes. fun day out. That'd be nice. Yeah. See you guys See you later. when we're in Stafford. There's a classic shot of mum, no, mum's bum you've all been waiting for. <laughs> you missed that yesterday, didn't you guys? Go on, bend over. No, I'm not going to do any more studs if you keep doing that. <laughs> Bear looks very pretty. But we're in a rush, so this will be the last Liggy vloggy till you see me riding. Here we are at Stafford, running a bit late as usual, because Meg put 
put in the long like Crisco. Minute to acclimatise us quite excited. Oh, I was just thinking how lovely and calm she is. Yeah, she just needs to go and stand yeah. by it sometimes and look. Yeah, watch. Yes, we had a bit of a detour. Ended up the wrong side of Stafford this morning. Thought we were going to be early, but no. Um, apparently BE have a different um, postcode for Stafford um, on their own site. So that was a little bit confusing. But anyway, we got here. Through Maggie on the pony. Luckily, is, I think she's in a good mood. She's pleased to be back out. You telling them why we're late? Yeah. You know I can put music over that. <laughs> They have to know the truth, Meg. chosen to vlog at the worst point because there's a nice steep hill here so when you hear me getting incredibly out of breath that is why so I've done my dressage she was first in which I always think I mean, obviously I wanted to be first in but I always think you'd never get as good a marks being first in because the judge isn't like warmed up yet Jesus, this hell. Um, but she was sweet she was she was spooked at the wind turbines around the outside bless her and then when she went in, she's really good. She just sort of, she knows to be quiet. Oh, I can't breathe. But she almost went too quiet, like she was a bit dead off my leg, so she broke for her first canter. Not, well, like it was just a bit early, like she trotted a bit before. Okay. So that was a bit annoying. But other than that, it was sweet. Like her halt wasn't very good because she was just like, I know I'm stopping. But for her first event since May, can't complain. Why did I vlog there? I'm dying. 
<sighs> but yeah, so walking across country, it's been incredibly influential for the 80. So many stops and eliminations. It's quite spooky and technical here, so I'm quite worried. Oh, I fly. I feel like I'm just, I'm worried because the last time I went cross country and I fell off. So, yeah, I just need to be positive and not put too much pressure on myself and just ride her like I used to ride her. We should be fine. But I'm gonna go now because someone's coming. to chill out just because it's got a pie chart on it doesn't mean it's scary okay if that wasn't there i wouldn't be spooked go on pony yeah right onwards and upwards come on forget about the pie chart <laughs> course has walked but I've got to go and do show dummy first but I'm using my new horse quest numner so obviously I have to tread on it first luckily still it's plastic but yeah we're gonna go and show jump and then cross country I'm feeling very nervous very very nervous Running over to the um. A little bit challenging, but sorry. Kirsty Rice, she clears A. Jeremy, Stephen B. Right, running over to the secretaries to get my dressage test posted. I've been an idiot. My dressage was really good. That was amazing. Um, I'm very frustrated with myself for the show jumping. We'll catch up with the lorry. Cross country, nearly cried for a good reason because we completed inside the time. But yeah, I will. Uh, Oh, is that a flight? <laughs> oh. I'll uh, get back to you in the lorry. But I need to get changed. To get on a train. What a legend of a mum to run off to try and get a photo and get my dressage test posted. I haven't any photos out yet, which is annoying, but mum's washed her all off and put her filet on her legs. Praise the Lord. So, yeah. About to check on the lorry, I'm sort of breath. I don't even know if I have time to put jeans on, so it might be Liverpool in jobbers. And then I'll quickly fill you in in the lorry, hopefully, if I have time, or I'll fill you in on the train. <sighs> you're so good. Here she comes, the legend. 
hobbit wearing an elephant t-shirt that was purchased in thailand 2013. <laughs> i don't know why i make the most stupid plans that are not going to work out on my time scale come on bebe oh my god i'm overheating Ooh, good girl we're gonna get you home you absolute superstar hi Mwah. oh mum always gets the worst jobs bless her <laughs> you quite like doing that though don't you playing in poo come on bebe got the pooper scooper. good girl oh. good girl come on sweetheart you deserve more grass you've got a hay net good girl worst life of eventing my bum again. <laughs> but people love your bum mum <laughs> Oh my god, shoot. Oh my lord. Nearly my foot. I smell like an egg. Like an actual egg. I don't know why I make these plans, but it looks like it may fall into place just. If we find the station, we find the stations. Yeah, excuse me, looking at the sat now. Second exit is the next round of that one. So, good day. A dressage, as always, like we weren't like amazed by where we but I think because we've been doing elementary with her now and like she's been sort of pizzazzy I think we expect loads from her don't we yeah and after her amazing trot down oh she did like extended trot through the lorry park so many people have messaged me being like oh my god I saw you through the lorry park and then it, what we see then it was a bit flat after that wasn't yeah it? but obviously I mean if they'd seen her in the lorry park god knows what she'd have got but yeah so basically we got 19.3 my first ever sub 20 which is mad straight over mum yep, okay, second exit. Um, I didn't know until just before I went cross country so yeah then we went to show jumping she was a bit wild in the show jumping and then before I went in someone fell off so I was like in stood in the arena for ages like must, I don't know how long it was but it felt like forever so she just went a bit off the boil and then she was just quite tricky to ride she sort of thought she was, it was her time to go out and she was whizzing quite a lot but then like backing off at the same time and I got a shot to the double and I thought like oh okay I'll just push on from the corner and I was trying to push her on and she wasn't going anywhere and then like yeah I could see three strides out we were on a really weird stride so I just like I don't know I tried to mishap and help her but it, we ended up having it down sort of like coming down on the back rail bless her first exit um but she got herself out of it really well and then she jumped the rest she was just quite hard to control like she was whizzing off like all this that, and the other like i need to just put a martingale on her i think it's like... Sorry. Mum! edit that naughty word out which just said a naughty word I've always changed anyway sorry but yeah so a really annoying right my uni mate just rang me lucy if you're watching this i'm lucy go away i've got Eight minutes to vlog. I'll call you in a minute. Right. So she had an annoying pole. So then I was really, really nervous cross country. I was like, oh my god, I don't know how to ride this pony anymore. She's being really whizzy and like really freaky. And then in the warm up cross country, I found out my dressage from someone. Um, and I was like, oh my god. Like, so she's still on 23. And then I like started, but I was still really sheepish. So I started jumping her, and she stopped in the warm up because she was spooking it sand being flicked up from another horse jumping next to her so I sort of like tried to pull it together like gave her a smack behind the leg and was like come on bear so I think it sort of razzed me up a bit and made me think like right I've got to actually ride I can't just sit here anymore so like yeah flew out the start box I had to scream at her at one fence if anyone saw it I'm sorry but I didn't hit her I just had to scream really loudly at fence wall to get her to go over it and then she just after that she just galloped she was so good I took a long option at her double on an angle because I was like it's just not worth winging her into the second part the pie chart one the one that I was worried about um yeah I was like it's not worth trying to wing her around because she's spooky at the first one so I was like do the long one and then yeah she just galloped the whole way did the corner really nicely which I was pleased about um sorry, got to sorry uh you're going at the first exit the next roundabout okay, thanks. so just straight over here got to the sunken road and she hesitated a bit bless her but she did go so she was clear at that and then yeah got in well under the time so she finished on 23.3 i believe um so at the moment she's in first place but there's like six or eight more dressage scores to go up uh but yeah really so 
the station around there, sweet top. Oh, uh, we'll maybe follow, yes. follow that. Okay. Should, yeah, yeah, follow the station away. I'm really, really, really hoping she wins because I feel like my confidence needs it with Bear. Um, but very happy. We can't believe the dressage, can we? No, that's fantastic. I'm really cross about the show jumping though because it would have been amazing to finish on sub 20, but I mustn't grumble. One of these days. Yeah. One of these days. Well, Wish no I'd... Bear's got it in time. Yeah, she has. And the trouble is, she, go... she tries to get herself out of trouble by going really high and then she comes down on the back rail. That's like what happened, but. Oh well, she was amazing. Like, and she was, she filled me with confidence cross country, which was so good because I was really nervous. Also, I've not even been schooling since badminton, which was silly. Like on fair, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so I was very nervous going out to cross country. Exit roundabout onto Queensway. But we've done it. I'm gonna get on the train. I'm hopefully gonna make it to Liverpool on time. Lucy, I'm gonna call you when I'm on the train. But I think we might have pulled this off, Mum, if we make our train. Half a mile. Mum's not very chatty, she hates driving around town. We're driving around the centre of Stafford. Look at the worry in the poor woman's eyes. Poor I've got to get myself out of here. I know, I'm going to put it on the sat for you. <laughs> poor Mum, bless us, got to go home and do all the horses. I do feel quite bad. No, you got out of eventing yesterday, so it's fine. I'll be sending my wishes and thoughts from the train. Oh, great, I'll be talking to Lucy. Yeah, you can ring Lucy if you want. She'll chat to you. <laughs> yeah. Happy now. Annoyed about the show jumping, but mostly happy. Mostly happy. Yeah, very happy. Very, very happy. happy. Like buzzing about the dress nice. I just can't wait to see my test. Yeah. Obviously I couldn't get it because it's not finished yet. Um, yeah. I might, might see you on the train, might not, just to prove I'm getting on a train. Yeah. Might see you in Liverpool. Might yeah. see me in my grad dress. Woohoo. Who knows? Right. Live, laugh, love. See you next weekend. Bye. Tried to blow a kiss and didn't work. No, we did. We've actually done it. Right. Well, Stop that then and set me off. Um, okay. Home. Okay. Wow. We've got time to spare. Should we get back to Stafford? Like, where am I going to drop you off? Maybe this maybe I should have. Oh, not in the mood for jokes. No, I'm really not. I love you, Bear. I love you too, Mum. Oh no, look at her. She's so worried. I've put her sat there on. Bye. Bye, Bear. Love you. Oh, this is weird. I really hope I've got everything. Jeez, right, let's find what platform I'm on and go. So people often ask me, how do you juggle horses, eventing in uni? Like this, right? Doing ridiculous things. <laughs> eventing and then getting on trains. I'd love to say that this is the first, but it really isn't. Here I am, rocking this look, case in tow, and I'm a, a wee bit early. Could have actually waited around a little bit longer. Put my shades on, because I have got bags. Got more bags under my eyes than I have strapped to my body. And that's a lot of bags. But yeah, hopefully I will uh, keep you updated. I'm gonna check eventing scores online and then I will let you know how she does. I feel so bad for poor mum, I feel so guilty. Mum, you're a legend. If you ever watch this, you don't really watch my legs. My legs? You don't really watch my vlogs, but if you're watching, you're a legend, all right? I mean that. It's coming from here. I made it. Oh my God, we won. We actually won. made it. I am back in the best city in the world. That's a fact. That's not really a fact, but it's an opinion from me. So I'm going to try and hunt the old boyfriend down. He's going to gag when he sees and smells me. But you know, that's just part of being a uh, horsey boyfriend, you know? It's one of those things. I feel disgusting, but yeah. We won. I don't know if you could hear me on the train when I was trying to vlog, but we actually won. One, we got um, 
finished on 23.3 as I said and she still won by over three marks like she's just amazing I feel so bad for doubting her dressage but that's just me I think you all know not to take me too seriously when I do that now so that's a good thing um, yeah I might do a bit more like vlogging bits just around Liverpool just because I'm so sad to be leaving so it's my last chance to show you guys what Liverpool's like but I'm gonna find Ross and put the camera down because people are looking at me like I'm crazy see you later get yourself a lovely boyfriend that watches tennis all the way up to walking to the restaurant it is the Wimbledon fight um, yeah, Ross is uh, waiting to buy me a big bouquet of flowers for winning. Nothing. Nice. And a bottle of water. Full on pizza for me. I've yeah, hydration is key. Eric Lee Water. <laughs> this is the most you've ever spoken on one of my vlogs. It's because I've had a bit to drink. What? what? I don't drink. What? Alcohol bad. But yeah, pizza and chicken burger and chips. Yeah. Graduation officially done. Finn. Finito. Au revoir. Say goodbye to the vlog. Say bye. Bye. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. <laughs> I don't ever say that. You should. I know, but I feel awkward saying it. But well, please, I've said it now, so please, please do it. it. All right. And like the video. Please. See you later. Bye. Bye.